Alrighty, welcome back to God of War. Last time we left off, we were exploring this castle. Although, this isn't where I saved, so... Okay. I saved outside. I'm really gonna hope it saved my progress, because this would suck if, uh... If it didn't, and I don't know why I didn't realize that was happening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it saved my progress. The dragon's gone. I have my maxed out rage meter. Uh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I use the manual save too. I saved the over here, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's just uh, it's a little bit of running. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so here's where we were gonna pick up, pick up. Oh, jeez, I I don't know. It sounds weird. This is where we left off last time. Why can't I break that? There we go. So we were gonna go explore this area. I don't know what this is gonna do, but... Maybe it'll... Open that gate. Problem is, ah, there it is. We need to freeze this, and I didn't see this over here. So now there's a gate over here that we should be able to use, yeah. Or go through. So, is this permanently open? All right, good job, Atreus. There's a round tear. All right. You can't break that. Let me make sure there's nothing I can do over here. I don't think so. Oh, damn it. I tried to block. It was just a little bit too late. I haven't used my talisman pretty much at all. The only time I used it was in the middle of that uh, Magni and Modi boss fight, but even then, I didn't really do much with it. Alright, I guess that's everything I can explore. I'm not sure where... Here we go. Uh... Ah, 
Here it is. I've seen horns used by warriors or hunting parties to signal others, but these horns look fancier than most. They must have belonged to someone important here at Vaithergard. I bet each of them would fetch a nice bit of hack silver. Alright. So I guess that's it here for, for this place. I'm still a little bit suspicious because Atreus wasn't able to piece together the entire story of what happened there. Which, uh, you know, it, it could mean I missed something, or that's just the way things are. Hang on. But I don't know. You called Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Aye. But they're doors, aren't they? Aye. And Holger are sprites of the forest. Aye. Beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Oh. Well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for young and innocent ears. Whatever. <laughs> Rock and Sindri are dwarves, but for some reason people call them the Holder Brothers. After the beautiful forest sprites. Apparently I'm too young to be told why. E yeah, probably. I still don't know how old Atreus is. I want to say he's like 9 or 10. I don't think he's, like, close to being a teenager just yet. Sure, I'm open. Alright, so now I should be able to upgrade... What is this? Unleash powerful attack that inflicts stun damage and knocks back nearby enemies. Also has a passive effect that reduces this talisman's, talisman's cooldown on successful blocks and parries. I mean, that could be useful. Do I want it? Not really. But you never know. It could. No, I don't, I don't think it could ever, ever be better than this because this one will also give me enchantment sockets. This one doesn't. I was going to upgrade this, but I don't have enough hack silver. Okay. Uh, we can sell the artifacts. The there deer. we go. Um, axe pommel. Yeah, so this one will get too thirsty now. will do more for my level, and it brings us up to level six. All right, sweet. That is pretty much all I wanted to do. Now we can go back to focusing the word, on the main story. Yes, that worked out. Um. I just want to look at this and compare the stats. So if I equip this one, I'm going to lose out on strength. I'm going to lose out on runic, but I gain defense and vitality. And I lose luck, but I gain cooldown. I feel like... I feel like they're both pretty good. But this one, this one is, well... Ah, okay. This one's just more of a... It, uh... It kind of improves all your stats. This one is more of a focus on certain stats. And it's also a higher level, which is good. I mean, technically... I need to figure this out. Uh... I don't know why I'm struggling. Alright, so that's plus 30, minus 14, yeah, so it's like a plus 16. Apparently that's how you're supposed to kind of judge on what equipment to equip. You want the one that gives you the highest net 
boost to your stats. So you add up all the positives, add up all the negatives, and then whatever the difference is, is determines how much better it'll be. I, I guess I'm I'm not really sure actually, but. Uh, You know, it's, it's better. And it's also important to look at the levels. That helps too. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Okay. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm. Swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had God things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Mm -hmm. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. Here was the god of war. Is that our counterpart, the Norse Some mythology version of us? Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tia believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tia was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tia, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So that thing up there showed a bunch of different so, uh whatever happened to Tyr? ancient he civilizations was a threat to his rule he suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Asia. same thing he accused me of frankly though in Tyr's case i believe he was right you think Tyr was helping the giants i do he felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by odin i suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks the missing yonheim town correct Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Hmm. Yeah, that one, uh... That one drawing up there, it showed, uh... Egypt, an Asian civilization, which was either China or Japan, I think. And... I think the Mayans, or... Aztecs, or something. One of the, I guess, American civilizations, the Latin American civilizations, I don't know. Central. They look like Mayan pyramids, or Aztec, I don't remember which one came first, I think it was the Maya. But I could be wrong. Um. Where is this black? No, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Oh. Oh no. Naturally. There's rings! What is this, Halo? All right. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of 
Oh, I should have, uh... I, I need to figure out where to put this. Alright. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of Owen back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why <laughs> no one likes you. <laughs> Kratos actually made a joke. That's, that's great. So, Mamir's homeland. He sounds Scottish to me. I don't know, maybe this could be like... I, uh, shoot. I can't remember my history right now. Alright, let's uh, just... Let's do this. Well, that's unfriendly. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Is there anything in here? Alright, so we have a couple ways to go. Hmm. Yeah, usually if there's, you know, spinning saw blades, there's probably something hidden behind there. <laughs> or it's the way to go. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Yo. It's too small for father then. Go. Be fine. He almost pushed me into the saw blades. Alright, I think there's space for me to go through here. Alright. Oh, I think I know what to do here. Just freeze one. Alright, that wasn't too bad. He looked at it, and it's not completely broken. Although, it, it's not really showing that much, it just shows us with our Blades of Chaos. It doesn't show what we're standing on top of. And I'm not even sure. I couldn't tell if it was one god or multiple gods. 
that explains a lot about her past. And here, this is, I believe, an Egyptian crown or some sort of hat. Oh, there's a rune there. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought he's. No, wait. So, will that work even? Oh, okay. Alright, what else do we have over here? We got... Here's some... I, I, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. I, uh... I'm not sure. Here's more Egyptian stuff. I think that's what the pharaohs are buried with. or That's what they carry. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if... You know, we're seeing all these ancient civilizations that... I think most of them did believe in some sort of gods. I wonder if this is kind of like fores foreshadowing future games. I mean, that would be really cool if we could just go all over the world and... Uh, you know, experience the different mythologies of different people. And I'm not sure if that'll happen though. They did announce five more God of War games, but that could mean anything. That could mean five more set in the Norse mythology worlds. Or it could be five God of War games set in the... set in different worlds. Of my flow. Man, my parry is not on point right now. Oh. See, the attack's a lot slower than I think it would be. And that was that wasn't too bad. That was. What did you see in that vault that set you? Hang on. <clears throat> Use R2 to axe. Using the R2 axe throw will freeze them and bring them down to earth. It is not important. It's not important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow, that was almost an apology. Well. I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ha! <laughs> He's not wrong. I have been pretty much breaking everything I see. So yeah, as I was saying before... Even the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the wind. Yeah, I know. As I was saying earlier, um... It would be really cool for them to set for them to have Kratos and Atreus just travel to multiple different worlds. 
Like, maybe we can travel to Egypt, and maybe we can travel to... You know, across the Atlantic Ocean to the Americas. Oh man, I don't know where the freaking thing is. Okay, it's over there. But I would really like it. <clears throat> mm. Come on. Oh, what? You son of a bitch! What a troll! Wow. That was... That was really trolly. It's like... Oh, here's the, uh... Here's the thing. Go to throw it and a freaking nightmare pops right in front of it as I'm Look, trying to I put it there. Okay. Is this a I think this is a rune puzzle, yeah. So I need to find the runes. In order to open that. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. All right. Well, it should be safe in here. And I thought those saws were scary. Oh. I'm trying to figure out where the runes are, but I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure there's one. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Uh. I don't see another trap for the. Uh. Winds of hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. Yeah, but first, I need it. Oh, what's that? There it is. There's one. I'm gonna guess there's another one in one of these hallways. I just need to look for like a, a glimmering light. I do see something, so right there. So that's not what we want. Yep, there it is. There we go. They're sneaky. Ooh! I didn't see orchid. Orchard. Whoops. I don't know why I said orchid. That was that was really bad. Damn it. Is bad. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> that was a little close. I didn't really have it timed correctly. All right. So this one. All right. I, I remember what to do with this one. This one took me a, a while to figure out. So we're gonna go up here.
Oh, okay. I was not expecting that kind of attack. I almost had the block. Frag out! You gonna run at me? Nope. And come over here. Ooh, I got the block off. And I'll just throw you over there. You come back here. And you're dead. There's more. Nope. Look, there's the wind track. Yep. What of these? Thought is fast and uh, father can hit them twice on the same axe throw, once on the throw, and again on the recall. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Rune Vault Clue. Thought is faster than wind. Tear testing our minds here. Okay, so when I first went through this, I wasn't really paying attention to like all the rune puzzle or all these inscriptions and clues. Because what I thought I had to do originally was you know, uh, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. So I thought I was gonna have to take the winds of hell. From wherever they are. There. So you see this ring doesn't spin like down or anything. It just stays up here. So what I thought I had to do was take it, run over there, slide down the chain, and then bring it to wherever I was trying to go. But that is impossible. What you have to do is throw it on that ring. And then that way, you just go down here, you can take your time. Let's figure out where we're supposed to take this. I think it's over here. Yeah. So now we have an easy, an easy path. It took me a while to figure it out the first time. And that's why you should always pay attention to clues.